Reminds me of the time we filled the bathtub with beer at Mikey's bachelor party and the midget almost drowned in it. What? Yeah, I've told that story on here, I think. Tell it again. <laughs> uh, we got a midget for Mikey's bachelor party. Little person? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, he went, by, he went by midget, so I'm just... <laughs> Yeah, I'm just calling Dominic what he was. But Mikey, <laughs> what he, was the what was the guy's race? Uh, he was white. White dude. Yeah. So did you rent him? Like, like, because you know, you can, I know you you can rent midgets. Yeah, we rented him. Okay, little yeah. person. Yeah. How, no. much did, how much did he cost? So we called this guy who was a midget handler, little person handler, uh, and he was like, "I can get you strippers as well." So I think it was like. 1500 all in for two hours of the midget hanging out <laughs> and then two hours of the girls hanging out. But they didn't cross over? But they crossed over for an hour. Okay, good. Or he might have even been hanging out for like two hours and then just like stuck around. Yeah. <laughs> like he was like down to party too. So what does the midget do? Because I know I've seen this on Howard Stern. Like when they oh. go, do they go bowling with them? Like you? Throw yeah, them? you can throw them. But <laughs> it, uh, actually, it was funny. It was it was funny. The guy called right after I put in, you know, old school like internet. Like I had to fill out a form and I submit it. And the guy calls me. He's like, just so you know, all of the hotels in uh, Atlantic City have banned uh, midget. Uh, uh, it was called dwarf lopping. <laughs> Call. Uh, they've they've banned it so you can't throw them anymore because usually they would they'd like put them in velcro suits and you throw them at a wall or something like that <laughs> um he's like so you can't do that and i was like oh we're not interested in doing that anyway like my brother just wants to hang out with him so he came and my brother was like made him sit on his lap for a while <laughs> <laughs> my brother my brother had two two like fucking super big twin buddies and they like put their arms on each other's shoulders and like made like a bar and the guy was doing pull-ups oh, and Mikey so Mikey was just fun. like holding up beers and like seeing if the guy could get him and stuff like that he just like literally wanted the guy hanging out but the guy got fucking wasted and his handler was a, a dick to him his name is Dominic and his handler kept calling him Shipmanick and we were all like yo chill like and he's like oh fucking Shipmanick loves it when you fucking call him Shipmanick and he's like fuck you the dude is getting trashed. I'm telling you, the dude is like straight up fucking crushing beers. So at one point, I hear like, oh, oh, and I fucking go running into the bathroom. And he's like, he's tried to get up into the bathtub, but he's so short. And it was like one of those deep like jacuzzi bathtubs sure. that he couldn't like, he couldn't just reach in and get a beer. Everybody had been getting a beer. So he tried to get one himself. And he's like on the ledge. <laughs> He's like pulled himself up on the ledge and he's like about to fall in. He's like, get me, get me. And I grab him and I pull him out. And he's like, holy shit. He's like, if I had fallen in there, I definitely would have died. And I was like, why? why? And he's like, because that's fucking deep and I'm hammered. <laughs> I was like, dude, you're going to die in like a, a fucking three. Foot. He's like, it's freezing cold full of ice. You he's, saved a midget's life. Yeah. But I was also like, dude, there's no, like, you wouldn't have, and he started, he's like wasted. He's like, they say babies can drown in like two inches of water. And I was like, okay. <laughs> DSPN 30 yeah. for 30. What if I told you about a little person? And what if I told you about a guy in a mustache who saved his life? And the guy called, so the guy who was his handler also called me. Uh, I love how he has a handler. Yeah. It, it's, it's not a manager. It, it's like he's an animal. Yeah. A handler. Like he's a fucking like he's a dog or a fucking stallion running in the Kentucky Derby. So I think we orig I think we said uh, I think we were getting two strippers. Originally. Okay, it was like a two. Now, do the strippers know that also a midget is part of the? Yeah, because the guy fucking hooked them both up. So the guy. Oh, what a great business! So the guy calls me like two hours before, and uh, he's like, "Dude, I can get you four more girls." For like five hundred bucks, it was supposed to be like fifteen hundred. How many dudes are at this bachelor party? It was like 20? 12, oh, so 15. twelve. So he goes, "I can get you four more chicks for like five hundred more dollars." Which I was like, "I'm down, dude," but like already guys didn't show. I like had to ask people for more money than I, mean, I was. You're already like, shelling out some money. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "It's fifteen hundred. It was like I, I think there was like twelve because I think it was, I asked everybody for like one hundred and twenty five bucks or something, which went to like booze and the midget and the strippers. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah, yeah, I know. I fucking nailed it. But I was like, also a couple guys didn't come. I had to ask people for extra money, and he's like, "Dude, it's it's 
it's like a five hundred more dollars. I can get you three times the amount of girls. I was like, I was like, dude, I just, I was like, I love your attitude, but I can't, I can't yeah. do it. And I was like, so they show up, and he's like, I brought the girls anyway. Like he's like they're they're on the house, but obviously you guys gotta like tip them and everything like that, cause like the girls just want to make money, get sure. dollars thrown at them, having sex with people, whatever, you yeah. know. Uh, so I would pay to watch the midget have sex with the stripper. So the girls all walk in, five black girls, one white girl. Yes. Now we're all white dudes, by the way. Even better. but he, but what he told me, he goes, look, the two you paid for, he's like, I figure I get you one black girl, one white girl, the other four all black girls. My brother is so drunk that he starts cracking up like as this row of black girls walks in and he starts going, the dark of the berry, the sweet of the juice <laughs> over and over. Everyone that walks in, he goes, oh, two of them, the dark of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Third girl. Oh, what is happening? The dark of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Five of these girls walk in. My brother's mind is blown. There's a fucking midget there. There's five black girls. The dude is losing his mind. Everybody's like rolling on the floor because he just keeps repeating himself. Oh, it was fantastic. Mikey's bachelor party, legendary. And did someone get someone dressed as a ninja turtle for your other brother? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think my other brother was there. I think it was during my uh during my hatred of my other brother days. Oh man. So I think I think because I ran the show, I don't think he was invited. I'm a real son of a bitch like that. <laughs> Or he was masturbating on a I, I don't think so. I don't remember, though. Unreal. Good stuff. I said, welcome to, welcome to the Dirty Sports Podcast with Dandy Ruth, the Angel Prano. Welcome to, welcome to the Dirty Sports Podcast.